Hi there. Once again, another in running scalping demonstration. Uh, Fair house, uh, two mile five for long handicap chase. And again, we're looking at popping in later back trades, numerous later back trades on various horses, uh, assuming that odds are suitable. And we have Fairbot looping round, popping in those repeatedly. Now what you'll see here is I'm already within you know just a half a minute in a position where I could green up for a reasonable amount of money uh, and I really should have taken that opportunity uh, but I decided given the length of the race and given that we're only a minute in uh, to loop back in to the to the process pop in a whole load of new lays but as I did that I didn't appreciate or, or spot how much Harmonia Maker had already come in by. Um, and so I jumped on her while it was in the process of shortening significantly. And so that immediately put me into a little bit of bother. Um, so I had to sort of sit and twiddle my thumbs really for the, for the rest of the first half of the race uh, in the hope that uh, Harmonia Maker would start to drift. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened as we approach the 50% mark. One of the things that you need to, to be aware of if you're using this, uh, and I didn't really spot it in time, that uh, if you do end up putting a lay on a runner that's shortening significantly, you can always bail out of that individual runner by clicking on the, the green up button next to that runner. You know, accept the loss on that runner, and then, given that they're at a lower price, you can always go back in again. And that's certainly something that you can do. But I, I missed the opportunity. I didn't. It didn't really dawn on me, partly because of too busy recording videos, uh, it can uh, upset the concentration sometimes. So anyway, as we approach uh, halfway round, you can see that the the green up position is becoming a bit more reasonable. Uh, and we'll shortly get back into into the green. Um, but then it, it, it kind of starts to stagnate a little bit. Um, but I'm looking at the right hand side. I'm looking to think about trading out fairly shortly. And I'm going to do that by essentially cancelling the back bets that are there already. Uh, the reason for doing that is to stop Fairbot looping round again so if any of those back bets were taken that would cause the repeat on success to kick in for that particular runner. So now what I'm doing is uh, I'm looking to assign an automated green up rather than relying on my aging reflexes clicking on the green up all button. Um, so I'm just trying to decide which one to go for and looking at the way the, the odds are changing and the, the, the get out position is changing I decided just to go for uh, a green up of 10. Um, so that will kick in as soon as uh, that position sets. So there we go. Um, and I'm, I'm lucky in that um, the way the odds moved, I'm actually able to get more than 10 by manually confirming that. Um, so all in all, that worked out okay, although it, it wasn't my finest trade, I have to, <laughs> I have to admit. Um, but there you have it. Another example of in-running scalping.